Hello my dear Capricorn, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between October 16 to October 31st, 2016 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can contact me at Queen of Cups Tarot at Outlook.com. So, uh, October 16, we will have the full moon, a so-called super moon. It is also known as the hunter moon by Native Americans and the blood moon throughout the rest of the world. It will be the first of three super moons in 2016, although I thought that the last full moon was very bright. Uh, this will look slightly larger and brighter than usual. At October uh, 20 to 21, we will have the Orionite meteor shower that radiates from the constellation of Orion. Uh, I, I like to watch those. It is dust grains left behind by Comet Haley this time. October 30, we will have the new moon in daytime. So the night at uh, this time will be very dark without the moon, if you like to gaze uh, upon the stars. So, I call the divine with love and light, and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world, and I call the six elements earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading regarding Capricorn's love life. I want my dear Capricorn to find love in their life. I also want them to find uh, themselves in creative success and toward, um, on their path towards uh, their highest spiritual development and also to find your highest destiny. So, for Capricorn, the last part of October 2016. Okay, so it's done. Just tune in a little bit. So that's the past, uh, the, the future, sorry, and this is the now, and here is the past. The now is probably the time between 16 to 31st October, but it's uh, probably right, uh, whenever you watch it will be the right time to watch it, so. Uh, the first card for you, Capricorn, is the Temperance card. So, the Temperance card uh, shows me a very beautiful spiritual process where you are uh, trying to take in your other side. You can do this through a relationship that you meet your other side on the outside of yourself and you mirror yourself in them and you see your dormant, uh, your dormant personality traits in them. So when you meet people on the outside and you think they are awful or um, have different kind of personality traits that are either awful or very attractive. It's usually uh, the size of yourself that you have been rejected or the, the size of yourself that you have dormant, like they haven't been really excavated. Uh, so this um, is the alchemic wedding. It's when the, the work begins with like um, uh, finding your shadows and and finding your inner demons. And if you're in a relationship, this is when the demons start like dancing with one another, you know, the different um, projections that you have. And it's just for them to come out in the light so uh, the angel can do this with it. Um, and this is, you ha see, she has a, a, a square on her chest with a triangle in. It shows the square is the body and the triangle is the soul. Uh, so this is for you to become whole. You want to have your whole being, be in contact with your whole soul and have also your soul in your body. Uh, how you can get your soul into your body is really simple. It's by starting to feel uh, the life force, presumably first in your hands and maybe toes. It's where it's probably m most needed and, and you can feel it like a tingling or a warmth. Your soul is the light of you, like your uh, the inner light, the warmth, uh, the energy, that's you. And it will leave you, your body, when you die. And But the flame is eternal and you can feel it as warmth in your hands and feet. And this is uh, your um, spirit. Uh, so it's a very nice card. It could be a, a great love affair or it could be a, um, some kind of uh, spiritual work that you are doing with yourself. And here you have a Queen of Cups. 
Uh, so it seems like Capricorn has been working with opening up to more uh, to feel their feelings. And that's really good because we need to have, we are evolving as a human species and we are going to have uh, a second kind of language, um, not only with spoken words, but also like kind of telepathic. And for some people, it will be true feelings that you will feel uh, what other people are thinking, feeling, wanting from you and so, etc. Uh, but the first thing you need to do to tune in to this new ability is to feel your own feelings, to let them be flowing freely and just take uh, uh, the content of it, like see the feeling, like feel the feelings, like be with them. Uh, so she's doing this, this Queen of Cups, she's uh, looking really uh, clearly into the cup and like studying her own feelings uh, and like asking the divine where to go next and she will be very sure about where to go next because she's very in tune with her feelings and she knows she knows them she she has learned the language of her feelings because she has stayed with them accepted them studied them she has seen like wh what kind of thoughts uh, that have that made a certain kind of feelings in their body in her body and also she has uh, recognize like what kind of uh, outside situation is causing her to feel in different ways uh, so so soon she has tuned in and calibrated her feelings really well uh, so she will know in in pretext uh, in beforehand when things are going to happen because she's going to feel it in the waters of her body we are containing a lot of water um, human beings and water stores information uh, sometimes it come, can come as memories and like a tear flowing down your cheek. Uh, so here you have a two of cups. Uh, so it seems like many of you have actually been meeting someone and having uh, a really nice love relationship and really nice love encounter. And it's like um, we see this bond uh, that's uh, around their wrists showing that they are committed to one another. So I think a lot for you is about commitment. Maybe you want to find someone to commit to and you have recognized this by watching your feelings or you actually have found someone to, to commit to in this beautiful way. And we see in this card that there's a commitment between two equals that both people, both persons in this relationship uh, have equal value and are equally heard and and um, yes equally respected so it's very beautiful they both have um, uh, similar colors he has a little bit more green that shows uh, love she has they are both blue blue but she, hers is like more lagoon blue uh, so la blue is uh, hope and it's like uh, getting your hopes up and getting your needs met to to find something blue. Sometimes you can be sad and blue also when, when your hopes wasn't really met with the outside uh, events. <laughs> uh, and they both have flowers in their hair, so it's very beautiful. And, and the sun is reflecting here in their cups, uh, showing the connection with both the souls and uh, the, the emotions. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the next card we have is the Queen of Swords. Uh, okay, so we can have a little glitch here in this uh, relationship. We we'll see here it's two two uh, females here. It can be one male and one female, but uh, they are working with their feminine side, both of them, and they have turned their backs uh, against each other. So this one is like more in tune to their feelings and listen to their feelings all the time. This one is more logic and... Um, is like um, trying to to get to the knowledge through her logic mind and that's okay sometimes you have a very good connection with your log logic mind and your subconscious but usually it goes through the feelings and so the logic mind is very limited you need to have access to more than just you know the 10 percent of the brain to be able to solve really deep issues uh, and it seems in this it's indicated that it would be the male part of the relationship that has this kind of logic uh, side to them uh, but it can also be of course to two females being in love and it can be also a friendship relationship that's very deep and loving and um, it could be between family also a mother and a daughter two sisters uh, things like this uh, so but it seems like uh, they have turned their backs a little bit against each other but they are still in love uh, so that's 
beautiful okay so the next card is justice so you see the queen of swords is she's libra she's a lot of with justice and she wants to have like justice in her life and everything should be like uh, very smartly calculated and things like this and and it's need to be balanced and we are going also into to libra now with a lot of um the planets and um uh, the sun as is almost going out of libra soon but we are in Libra as for now. So this is very visible here that you want to create balance in your relationship in a, in a very logical sense. But it's need to go through the emotions, I think, a little bit more. Like uh, it can't be calculated logically. And it looks very like logic here and stale and square. Um, but she has this blue again here, like hope and also white. So that's like pure intentions. Uh, this one is red and green so it's root chakra like how you deal with family and uh, rules and regulations and green it's uh, the heart chakra uh, but she's very stale and she's yes she's all about justice it's like, like um, the law of balance in universe like how everything balance out eventually and uh, it's the same with planets you know they can wobble for a time but they will eventually like find their center point uh, so this is much about balance and in a relationship and find like also balanced emotions, I think, uh, but not restrain your emotions, just uh, listen to them and, and find the center point of yourself uh, to be the watcher of the emotions and not uh, maybe be so uh, like taken by them. And uh, because we can victimize ourselves by feeling sad, sad feelings and making up sad stories. But it's much better if you can just feel the feelings and stay centered and just take the yes, okay, I feel I am very sad today. I feel betrayed and it's because this happened yesterday. And so you can uh, then uh, act accordingly in that situation when you know the truth of your situation. To hide away from your feelings will make you unable to... To, uh, to make any kind of decision. Uh, so so it seems like it's a little bit of a problem in a, in a love relationship. Um, it's, yes, it's very, two very different people, uh, as I said, opposites. Um, this is um, water and this is air and, um, and they are trying to get together and there needs to be balance, it seems, between your emotion and your logical mind. Uh, so it's like this when when you feel your feelings you take the information out of them uh, but you you are going also to be very clear with your logical mind because when you are not longer obsessively thinking because you are preoccupied with feeling you can't do both uh, then you are going to be much more clear minded and also be much more better to uh, to make logical decision and to take better care of yourself because we can be like over emotional and like long for someone and then we need to run to them and like make amends. But maybe we shouldn't because maybe we should um, like keep uh, we know that it's not just that we have already given too much maybe. Uh, and uh, then we need to be logical and think like, no, I, I won't do this. I still love the person. Uh, but I won't reach out to them because uh, I have done this like too many times now and it's up to the other person if they want to be with me or not. Uh, so it's kind of those kind of situation where where you feel a lot of things and you take the feelings like really seriously and you feel them and you don't reject them, but you make a logical decision. Uh, so I think this is what's going on both maybe within you and also maybe on your outside. Uh, like you, you are trying to make a wedding between your, with, with your logical mind and your and your feelings, and there needs to be balance between those both sides. Um, and then this, it's a, it's like this is with um, your different soul parts getting together or two persons getting together, and this is the same thing, and this is balance between two. So. Um, it's very crucial, it seems like you have balanced relationships right now and also balance your emotional uh, sides and your logic side. Uh, and you have, I think, a very good sense of justice right now and you can, um, and you can follow that. So you don't need to question yourself so much.
Okay, uh, so here's the now and we have the uh, tower. It's a um, horrible and beautiful card. Uh, it's about, um, we have different kind of survival strategies in our lives, how we cope with things. Uh, some people when they get um, betrayed or left or uh, people are hurting them in some sense, they are saying, I will never again. And this is like kind of a castle you build up around yourself. You're putting yourself in a very safe position. And it's also like a soul contract. So it will appear again and again. You will have the same kind of situation where you are betrayed or let down. And you're going to have to say the same thing again. Like, I will never. Uh, and this is a very solid position where we are like isolating ourselves from other people. And we're not learning the lesson that we were supposed to learn. Uh, like how to get along, like how to take in our other side, how to accept other people uh, and, and to accept um, uh, differences and, and to learn from them and use them like a stepping stone to get to even high, higher grounds. But here you have tried to isolate yourself from others, other people because you don't want to do this growth. It's painful and you want to be safe. You want to, it's like keeping yourself in your apartment never going out um, maybe just for um, buying groceries and, and being very isolated in your tower uh, but this is the eye of god you can say bursting in here and um, making some kind of havoc in your in your comfort zone uh, trying to get you out of there and you are actually like catapulted out of there like both people here falling so it could be sometimes um, a, a relationship falling apart like uh, something that you build up that you felt were safe but maybe you didn't really uh, do the work you know you need a lot of communication this seems like yes there's love there but it's not much communication so there needs to be a lot of communication and and to you even if you are scared about what the other one really feels and, and wants, you need to excavate this because the longer the time goes and the other one may be in, be in the relationship because you are like enabling them to be there, but maybe they are not really in love with you or they are not really there uh, because of their own free will. They, it, it's just that you have made it comfortable for them. So you need to be able to have the courage to see the truth of your situations sometimes and this could lead to this kind of tower event where everything like breaks down because you learned maybe a truth uh, like a flash from above here that you didn't want to have uh, because it's um, it's disturbed all your plans and all your the foundation you have built with those two people in this relationship and and in your own comfort zone and uh, so uh, everything is like falling apart here a little bit, but it's for you to build it up in a much more better way and, and more like with light shining into it instead of this is like the tower of ego, like how you're putting yourself safe, maybe shutting off your feelings, uh, putting your like just um, um, like moving in your comfort zone. Uh, but what you really want here is more brave humans that's able to actually feel their feelings and therefore be able to also take the right kind of action in every situation because you have the right kind of feedback because you are not like tingling or not not tingling, lingering, <laughs> sorry, in your, in, in your um, illusions um, because you see things clearly and you ask the right kind of questions. From your partner pushing them a little bit because uh, you want to see that they are really committed to you and not just hanging along because you're a nice person so you want deep connections with your 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 people and this is like a flash from above like some kind of insight here uh, about maybe your you being different also that can be good or bad and sometimes you need you need to be different to learn from one another but sometimes you can have a very different goal and that might um, keep you very far away from each other if one want to have a committed relationship and the other one doesn't. And here you have uh, the lovers still. So it seems like love is still there. It's like it doesn't go away. It's just still there. Uh, so when this is happening, when you still have love, even if the person is like miles away and, and you're not talking with each other, if there's still still love, uh, there's this, this is good because this is you without your walls, without your brick walls. If you can admit to yourself that you love a person 
uh, and you may not be with them or you can be with them, whatever. Uh, you have quarreled, maybe you don't speak to each other or but the love is still there and you acknowledge it. You don't try to resist it. Every time you try to start to resist something, you are building up a wall that you later on will need to tear down. So don't resist things. Just see the truth of your situation always. Always, even if it's painful, see the truth of your situation because then it's the only time uh, you can act and, uh, in the right kind of way. When you are a child, you might need to have to, you know, run into this kind of comfort zone and, and you know, hide underneath the table or, or pretend that things are not happening because you don't, you are powerless. You can't take power over the situation. You are like in the, um, the adult is taking power. They are deciding what to do and, and you don't have this power. Uh, but when you are becoming an adult, you, you actually have the power to take necessary decisions. So you don't need to hide underneath the table or in your illusions anymore, pretending that everything is well when it isn't because you can act accordingly, even if it's painful. So uh, then find the better circumstances for you to express your love. Uh, but this seems like, like a rather stable, anyway, love relationship. All love relationship is great work. You need to work a lot uh, to make them um, functional uh, because it's two different people. Even if you have grown up on the same street, you have had different families, so you will have different um, um, ways of communicating. You will have different taste in everything. And um, yeah, so you are very not like each other. And that's the, the, the great thing with this. It's an exploration and it's learning more for each and every day. But keep an open mind and, and don't resist and be like, ask a lot of questions. Be interested and curious in your partner. Um, so here comes the Queen of Pentacles and it comes underneath this uh, two of cups and triangles the other queens so this is you probably and and you, it's like a marriage within you with your uh with your sensitive sides um the queen of cups and and your logical mind and sense of justice like how much love you should share actually and where it comes to be more like an abusive relationship like a codependent one where one runs after the other uh, so you are you are actually grounded, I think, in this now, uh, that you can see, you can feel your feelings and see the truth of your situation here with the Queen of Swords really well. Um, so it's like you are v well equipped uh, to meet whatever it's going to um, show itself, like the situation that's going to show itself. And it seems like you are surrounding yourself with this love. Um, so it's very good, even if you don't have a love relationship, if you can feel uh, like this, like how how nice it would be to to be in love and to have uh, a lover around you, uh, and not like be why isn't he here yet or why isn't she she here yet? Uh, if you just can feel this uh, and um, and be with it, like a, a hopefulness. You see all the blue here, all the hope. If you can have this hope, it will soon manifest. It's like um, what I said to a client the other day that. Uh, if you have a saddle, you will soon have a horse. So it's like this. It's manifesting this way. Uh, so for me, it looks like um, you have been working on this, like uh, in your own inner self. You see the, uh, like the feelings here, like uh, being able to understand another person's point of view and like have this unconditional love trait here but also in the same time be very like logical and see like that it needs to be balanced and that it can't be just one person uh, so it almost seems like even if you have been working with your feminine side even if you are male it seems like you have got some kind of protection here from the male side uh, like you now can uh, respect yourself even if you love unconditionally, you, you can also respect yourself very beautifully. And, and you can be in love and you can see the truth of your situation. Even if it's uh, not what you wanted, uh, you can um, see the truth and, and make another, um, n another attempt to make a new, new tomorrow. Like create your, your future now to, to um, the laws of attraction. Uh, and here you have underneath the, the Queen of Swords, you have the uh, Judgment card, and it's number 20. 
and mm, you see here that the sun is uh, blocked by the moon uh, so it's sometimes Queen of Swords can feel like this that her emotions get in the way of her seeing clearly so she might think that the love relationship is like too much hassle too much trouble because it does make her like view the world with two pink glasses and it can make her a bit irritated um, but it's okay uh, because you need to look through your emotions too you can't disconnect yourself like waist and below and and um, be like you you don't exist like more in your head uh, so you need to deal with the moon as well like your feelings even if it's uh, inconvenient it's like leading a little bit to the high priestess she is in utterly self-respect and really clear-minded but she is so through her moon through her emotions uh, because she takes the information of her feelings she doesn't let them like lead her astray like um, like make sad stories and she just takes the information she sees that uh, feelings and and um, pain and so on it's just energy it's just vibration it's just certain frequencies going through your body so it won't hurt you it's there to alarm you maybe to make you see things but it's not there for you to feel pain and then you try to block it out because it's contradiction it's like shooting the messenger uh, you need to be very like uh, see your feelings and be able to to be with them uh, and take the information like download the information if you don't resist your feelings just stay with them uh, you will have, um, yes, like the high priestess, you will know everything. You will be all-knowing. You will be very sure on what to do. So you you are not blinded by your emotion. Actually, uh, they are enlightening you. <laughs> so it can feel like the moon is a block and it's illusion. And just be away with it, the emotions. And uh, don't have to have feelings. But then you are not a human being anymore. You are a robot. So that's not a good thing. Uh, you don't want to be a robot. Uh, we are here to be human beings and in this world of contradictions. So we will explore ourselves and learn more about ourselves each and every day. What we like, what we don't like, what we want, what we don't want. So we can create a better tomorrow for ourselves and, and the world. Uh, so you need to have a clear judgment. You have judgment and justice. So it's like almost a court here. Um, uh, and you have this lawyer here or, or this judge here sitting. Uh, so you have a very like a situation where you're trying to to see things really clear from above. But you feel that uh, your um, your ability to do this, like see with the light of the sun what's happening on Earth, what's happening in your life, like see it from above is blocked by the moon. Uh, so you need to go to the moon first. You need to sort to your feelings, like start accepting your feelings, stay with them and clear your uh, communication canal uh, due to feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you do this, uh, then you will be able to see everything clear as day. But for now, you are blocked by the, the moon because you need to address this like with your feelings. It's like a wedding going on here uh, in within you mm -hmm. with, with both your logical mind and your emotional sides. And here you have a seven of swords. So that's like uh, what I told you before, like this, you want to be a robot kind of person that you want to scoop uh, like on the, on the surface of things. Just take whatever you can have like there and there and not go so deep within things. Uh, but this is not really uh, the best way. And <clears throat> if this is your partner doing this, they can show you like a false face. They are trying to be very logic and very disconnected from their feelings. Uh, but that's not the truth of their situation. They have a big, big moon <laughs> hiding the view. But they are just trying to, to, to like act like they don't care or they don't, uh, they don't um, mess with those kinds of things. They are much more like level-headed and it's not for them. But they have missed like half the lesson. Uh, so uh, don't do like, don't do like this. And if you have a partner doing like this, it's very hard because they 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 have like this blind spot over their eye. They can't see it. So how can, how can you get to them? Because they are trying to make themselves very secure, like in their uh, logical mind and and um, not have to, you know, deal with the things that earthly people do. They have like levered them up, like almost like 
divine creatures. They are above everything. They don't feel certain feelings. They are very centered. But the truth of it all is that they have a big moon blocking their view and that they are just scooping on the surface of things. But it's also educational, this. Even if it's hard, you know, it can take years. But it's an educational situation because this kind of a um, um, little bit stealing and and going on the surface of things it will uh, it will come back and haunt you uh, because uh, your life will become very stale and boring like staying in your comfort zone all the time it's not making a happy life you might even feel uh, that life is meaningless so uh, it will come back and haunt anyway because you need to have um, you know blood in your veins feeling in your heart um blood pumping you need to have like being a al alive person passionate alive having experiences meeting people uh, mixing it up a little bit not just keep like a level head and balance and um, freeze yourself out of situations so it's it's a big thing there uh, blocking the view of of someone and um, and now I have told you, so if it's you, you, you know what to do. Just stay with your feeling and accepting them. And, and this will soon dissolve uh, because the block is because you haven't uh, seen a, a crucial message or maybe a thousands of crucial message, a million of crucial mes messages to your lifetime. So you need to, to clean out your canal by, by watching one feeling at a time. Take the most uncomfortable feeling in your body and just uh, stay with it and it will... Um, like when it, it has been able to, it is programmed to leave a message with you. And when you have heed the message, it will subside. Mm? Uh, so, and it will be downloaded like in your subconscious. So you will use it. The next time you are in a similar situation, you will get like an aha sense and know like, ah, oh, I know. I think I know what's going to happen this time. So I'm going to prepare myself. Uh, so this is how we make decisions. And this is how we read a situation. Um, so what you need to do is, yeah, read uh, the most uncomfortable feeling in your body first and then take the next one and the next one and the next one and maybe a million times. <laughs> uh, if, if you have rejected a lot of your feelings, there will be a lot, a big pile. Um, and this is what blocking the sun and your judgment. Okay, so this is the now and it seems both beautiful and a bit scary. And um, yes, it's tricky. It's like a test almost. You have both the tower and the judgment day. So it's not a uh, walk in the park exactly, but it's uh, you still like can feel your feelings. So that's very, very good. Um, there's a little problem here <laughs> with trying to be level headed, but it will sort itself out. OK, here we have a king of uh, cups. So it goes very well with the queen of cups here. And so this is a whole person. This is a person that he like sits in the commando central of his body just taking the information from the feelings that's coming here and see them and okay yes okay i see you i'm aware of you uh, i know now thank you uh, so he will know like well i got a little sad feeling here so i know that's about this and so he will he's very central centered he's like just taking the information he doesn't care if it's a high frequency like uh, like being afraid or if it's a more low frequency like uh, just have this kind of knowing of something like okay it's like that so he doesn't scare easily he's very friendly with his inside he knows that his feelings are not there to harm him they are there to get his attention and the more like intense the vibration or energy is the more it wants your attention and you more you resist it the higher it will pitch so uh, don't resist your feelings just take the information okay and if it's a very like great emotion and, and you feel really emotional then it's something really crucial something really important so he just accept whatever is and he's really centered in himself and he he, he accept whatever comes whatever feeling comes so he uh, is in a very good position for solving any problem that will show be, because he's very brave uh, you know when he is really uh, he knows his feelings like true and true. So whatever happens in his like outside world, it's just going to be like, yeah, another problem to solve maybe. But it's not going to make him like, oh, I can take this because he can take everything. He is in tune with his emotions. He's taking them as messages. So he won't need to flee. 
he will he only will need to center himself more and like okay this is a very important feeling it's very high pitched so i will really heed this message message and he might take like a half hour just feeling the feeling and and then yes okay now i know so this is what i'm going to do so he's like a general in his own body just not shooting the messenger anymore uh, so and the next card is four of cups uh, so it's very sweet here it's um, uh, it's a part of you that's I think feel a lot of love but uh, don't want to do this you see they have crossed their arms across their heart chakra and the divine here is trying to convince that oh, well um, well you have this feeling anyway so maybe you should feel it and the little boy said no I don't wanna it hurts and it comes here underneath Queen of Cups and the lovers and and then the King of Cups here so it's something going on between the King and, and Queen here that uh, they seem to love each other but they also seem to not want to acknowledge that it's like it's like it's no use and um, I think it's again like a lack of communication here and a lack of not wanting to see see the truth maybe uh, if you have love in your in your system then it's love there so you can't like just no i don't want to feel it then you are starting to reject something and not accepting it and you're building up a block and uh, you're blocking your own energy and you're getting more and more miserable for every day so try to feel it try to do what the divine here try to to convince you to do feel your feelings um feel the love that you have for for persons even if they are not maybe deserving it in in the in your eyes it's it's okay you don't need to express it you just need to feel it it's that for you to feel it not to resist it so it's a very beautiful picture it's not a sunny day but it's water flowing like everywhere here and this beautiful beautiful mermaid and this beautiful little boy that um, maybe hasn't been treated really well in his lifetime but so he's afraid of feelings but don't make any sad stories out of it. Mm. It will only your 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 beautiful, very fragile self can't see the difference between what you are thinking and what's actually happening. So don't don't hurt yourself by making sad stories. Just just see the truth of situations and accept it and and be with it and support yourself. Uh, like okay uh, this one didn't love us but we will fix someone that will do we will search until we find someone we won't give up and we will be a clear and level-headed so we will be able to judge the people that come into our life if they are good for us or not so you have a lot of people here in in your reading and here comes a little page of wands page of wands are usually our um, inner child and um, it's um, it's like someone that's coming here calling wants to have like wants to have experiences wants to have life in their life they want to have other people in their life uh, they want to have like yeah they want to be alive they want to feel the pulse uh, they want to be happy uh, they have their little cat there also so they're very independent but in the same time they want to have you know they want to be able to be with people when they want to uh, so it's like uh, it's like you need to make more connection in life. You need to go out and and search for the kind of persons that you want. And maybe this is also about messages. Uh, so, but it seems like we can have a little trouble here. Um, th this two of cups and and you. It seems like you are very you know that you are uh, in love and and or or that you want a certain thing in life that you are searching for a certain certain someone but it seems that it could be like uh, some part of you that's not really in the game like not really want to um not maybe want to leave their comfort zone because this is a square you know the tower and this is four of cups a square and you have the king of uh, cups here uh, so it can be a male figure uh, in your life that wants to not move out of their comfort zone uh, or it could be you that's but it seems like you want to uh, you are clear you know what you want so you have a little trouble here with someone uh, not really wanting to um, go outside their comfort zone they are really scared about making contact and that people will hurt them um, so hmm. 
but they are a king of cups and king of cups have um, <laughs> I will see if I can find a king of cups in Barbary tarot because he will show like the grumpy side of of king of cups so you will understand how he is when he's not really like a whole person like when he's uh, holding grudges and, and being like like this little boy uh, keeping her, his um, arms crossed over the heart chakra uh, so we'll see if we can find him here somewhere he's, yes here he is so this is the king of cups in the barbieri tarot and he has also this <laughs> this crossed thing going on uh, so that's the the bad side of king of cups it's when he he's trying to resist his his beautiful communication system and and resist being the general of his nervous system and his bio feedback and his feedback from his soul then he's getting like this no don't come to me with any more sad sad messages i don't want to I, I don't want to feel anymore so he he doesn't want to move outside his comfort zone here uh he would like to be here in the tower still um so not protected from other people so they can't hurt him again so he's very grumpy not communicating mm -hmm. so you might recognize this as yourself or someone in your surrounding and they are very fragile as of now they have a very they are on the brink of somewhere where where they have been hurt before so they have a little trouble uh, being uh, here and now because they 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 fear what's going to happen in the future because of something that have happened in the past so making up sad stories and scaring themselves but still we have this child here connecting you anyway uh, this child this longing this longing for connection and here you have the chariot so the chariot is a beautiful picture about this unconditional love kind of thing this this beautiful cancer person here yeah, uh, being in the chariot together with Sagittarius. We don't have a Sagittarius person here, but we can take the Queen of Swords instead. So you have like both those queens in your chariot being able to both um, be very strict and judgmental uh, when you need to and say what's needed to sa be said, like the truth. This is what I see. I see you are doing this. This is hurtful. I feel pain. You know being very clear and this one is like she's understanding she can see the other side of things she can walk like 100 miles in your moccasins and she can yes yeah, she she is very understanding she will understand the, the king here like fully and, and yes have a bleeding heart for him while the queen will be very upset for him not talking to her uh, so you need to have both in your sharia to be able to move forward in this situation you need to both be able to talk, tell the truth and also have a lot of compassion. Uh, so, and the last card is Five of Wands. And uh, Five of Wands is for me, is actually the Minor Arcana Temperance card. It's like how it is in the reality. This is the high and mighty picture of it. Like, yes, it's just to blend your waters together and you make a beautiful rainbow and you dip your toe in the water and see too that you feel your feelings. In reality, it's like this. <laughs> it's like a war almost, like people having their different willpower and uh, having their different aim in a situation. Uh, I want to do that. I have this goal, but I have this goal and I want to do that. So it's like what you need to do. It's this I have showed you before, like... When you meet a person, you are totally different. You are not the same. You are communicating different even. So you are like this. But then you start to, you want to be with that person because uh, the divine has you know, shoot you in your behind with a cupid's arrow. So you are not getting away from one another. So uh, so you, you understand that, well, this is a, <laughs> a really troublesome situation. And this person that I met, they are not like me and we can't understand each other. Uh, but you are starting to communicate anyway. You are finding like some kind of common ground with communicate, like learning how the other one communicates and trying to do the, like make you yourself understand and like being telling really truthfully how you feel and, and be really open. So this is like you're starting to get to know each other like with communication anyway. And then you can start to compromise because you're starting to trust the other person when you can communicate and you can get like feedback from the other that's like resonated with your soul. You feel safe. You can start to compromise 
and eventually you will be like this and this is when this um, mission here is like fulfilled you have taken in your opposite force you have taken in someone that was once a stranger is now a part of you and not a stranger anymore and you have learned so much in the process so this is like how it is in the real reality it's hard it's not like this like blend your waters and everything will be nice it's a beautiful picture of it and it's like yeah it's it's beautiful but it's not easy um it's a hard process but this is this longing you know the cupid's arrow in your behind is making you do all this work taking in your opposite uh, force in your chariot being able to move forward but we have tr little trouble here with the king uh, that's uh, afraid of his heart chakra it's afraid of like being hurt so he's sheltering himself like doing this and we have this sense of justice yeah so it might be a situation where where the queen has both like very very that you um like a queen uh, like your feminine side has both this uh, unconditional love and understanding for this um, person but in the same time you want like things to be equal you don't want to do all the work in the relationship just because this one is very scared so you you need to communicate this and not to let him get away uh, it could be a her as well it's like uh, the him and her in this it's like your male side uh, the active side that's the doer and the passive side like the the one that's um, receptive and and just uh, um, like very understanding and so on so it's your different sides it's not like females and males here it's in you and it's on your outside as well so the, the, it could be a male having all those queens here uh, feeling like they can feel the other person's feeling but they also want to be justly treated and um, you are stable in love but you also have like your skill of being judgmental but it's like mm, it's like it's maybe a little bit of conflict here because of the seven of swords like you don't want to feel your feelings it's it's uh, inconvenient but you have sh been shoot by cupid's arrow so what to do um you're long for for this connection now you can say that this is the arrow between you like this thing holding you together even if it's like really upset and your demons like having the best time of their lives and you quarreling of about petty things and and this one is like not talking and <laughs> so it's a mess but it's still your mess and it's uh, lovely because this is the life's longing for itself love longing for itself co um, connection longing for other connections uh, so uh, you have this one to convince to to start sharing love a little bit more and and maybe participate in in this relationship a little bit more taking more responsibility okay so i will take some cards for you from the wisdom of the hidden realms to see if there's any messages about this tricky communication and it's also like a decision like which foot to stand on it's can be feeling like you are stuck between a rock and a hard place like follow your feelings and your compassion or um, like you're starting to get a little angry here mm, yes okay we have the resting tree and that's how you usually come in contact with your uh, commando central you need to lie down patient stillness to feel your feelings so this is uh, lesson number one. Uh, do this. Don't escape. Don't try to skip this lesson. Try to to be with your feelings. This is an excellent position for doing this, especially if it's a million message that you haven't been reading. Uh, so you can feel one feeling after another. Try to take some time to do this, like a half hour before you go to sleep, maybe just to feel your feelings. It's like a healing position underneath the tree. Trees are our... Um, they are our guidance or guardians here on earth. They are our reversed lungs and they store a lot of light and a lot of uh, energy. They are very beautiful creatures. So this is a perfect place to, to get healed in nature underneath a tree. This is underneath the root of a tree, but you can do this in your bedroom also. Uh, and this is what you want. This is the diamond dreamer. This is your longing here with the page of wands. Uh, mature wealth true prosperity you have a goal something that you're longing for and it's indicated that it's a love relationship and uh, this is uh, said like yes uh, the spirit have heard you 
and they want to give you everything it's like the law of attraction it's like an eternal gemini it will say yes to all your questions but you just need to know how to ask them so you need to be very clear you can't like long for being with this person in once and then when you get in an argument you you don't want to be with them and wish them to go um, away so it will be very contradictive it will like you start to build a relationship and then well you don't want to be in it and you want to be in it and you don't want to be in it and so make up your mind and then you will be ha having what you have dreamt of because the spirits are here to help you so be very uh, thorough um, like awkward and like very mm, do this job very <laughs> thoroughly <laughs> like see it very don't don't ask for some hoffies uh, like you need to be very clear with what you want if you are asking for i oh, i want this uh, i want this relationship with this person uh, but you may forgot forgot about asking having a harmonious relationship with this person you know you need to be very detailed you will look look back maybe write it down what you want uh, and then you can look back and you can see oh i missed those things and now i have this kind of hell uh, so don't be anxious about it, but try to be really uh, like be really thorough, like do it really um, from top to bottom what you want in a person. Uh, so it's uh, really crucial. Uh, so you can laugh out it <laughs> afterwards when when you have created something that was not quite what you wanted, because you think that the spirits will like fill in the gaps, but they don't. They they make fun of you by giving you something that you uh, Ash actually did ask for, but it's like way out of line. Mm, this is, I don't know if this is the humor of the universe or if it's just like <laughs> male functioning like a computer. It's just the data you put in that will come out. So it's not thinking of its own accord. Okay, so past life, we'll see what's happened with this poor king here that's crossed his arms, crossed his heart chakra so deeply father and persecution and inquisition okay that can mean different things for 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 you um father father is uh, the male part in this uh, um in in this deck it doesn't have like a male uh, it has the father so it's a male you can say and persecution and inquisition it looks like uh, they have maybe trouble to find their male role in everything that it's like everything is blamed upon the male uh, so they feel like too much responsibility and not uh, enough things coming out of it for them. It's like they are only there to, you know, produce children, but then they are not like getting half of the custody when the couple split. So and it's also like, yes, when you open the newspaper, you have a lot of like, you know, rapist and murder and it's a man, 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 man. So it can be very hard for for male people that uh, like very empathic male people because they feel this collective shame that's not theirs. Um, but you can, yeah, it's easy to imagine how it would feel if it's uh, it was like, yeah, girl, girl, girl that have done this and this and this. Um, it's natural to feel ashamed even if you you are not to blame. Uh, so it's something going on here with with their uh, self esteem and them feeling like put on a hot spot in some sense and uh, and maybe they are feeling like uh, they don't have any rights like it's their rights have been taken away from them and maybe they feel like they would be devouring the relationship like well they are the bad ones uh, the males so they won't have anything to say like when you go into the relationship if you are arguing with your woman you are not like um, a, a great person you should always cave and not to, yeah, so it could be a lot of with this, like uh, losing power and and being the bad one, always being the black sheep, so to speak, in, in the situation. So it's something with this. It can also be a lot of things uh, for uh, different kind of people, like <clears throat> that they have had bad experience, maybe losing uh, custody of children is what I, I got for some of them, uh, but also other things that they feel helpless. They feel like... Um, they have no place in in the scheme of it all it's like uh, the women is taking over everything um it's something with this it's something with like feeling inadequate or not feeling like you have a little spouse coming here as well behind here uh, so it's something with uh, relationship commitment that might may be very scary because of 
uh, previous uh, previous um, experience mm. <clears throat> like this I guess it fell out nine of swords not so nice <laughs> so we can understand this person but not not to the extent that you are compromising yourself so uh, they still need to take responsibility and, and uh, need to wake them and shake them a little bit uh, so I I it's a frustration here uh, with with the queen of swords feeling like there's an injustice so um, you can't like hide behind being hurt uh, you need to still take responsibility and and be an adult person so okay uh, i hope uh, <laughs> i i'm really happy about everyone like uh, watching uh, liking and subscribing to my videos and also for all of you commenting uh, so I, I I try to read them all, but it's um, uh, it's a lot to do, a lot for me to do. And uh, also, if you would like a personal reading, you can contact me in my email in the description box below the video. And also, I would uh, hope to see you again in the beginning of November for the no next uh, Capricorn reading. So take really good care and bye bye. <laughs>